guys, we are back with another song by Eminem. And which which one are we doing today? Today we're doing higher. Okay. I think I think I think know. I know this. I think you do too. I think if it's what I'm thinking of, I like it. Yes. So this is track number nine off of Music to be Murdered by, which you obviously know. If this is your first time seeing our video, we're going through Eminem's whole discography. We're up to his most recent album, Music to Me Murdered by Side B. And this is track number nine off of that. So I think you know it. I don't know if how well you know the song. I think you'll recognize the chorus for sure. Yeah, I feel like I hear a chorus in my head, but like it could be any song by Eminem that has the word higher in it. If there's more than one, <laughs> I don't know. Sure yeah. Yes, so we'll do what we always do. We'll listen, we'll break it down, all that. And this video is sponsored by Carnivore Snacks, which is my favorite meat snack and one of my favorite snacks ever. These are the bison sliders right here. And scroll up a little bit right here, Oop, the textures. So these are the textures of all of them. You've got, I'm not sure, maybe like the one of the beef ones and then you've got the sliders right here and then over here there's sliders as well and that's just the textures of all of their different kinds of snacks and they all are essentially like eating meat potato chips they're not quite like beef jerky not quite like biltong it's like in a class of its own and they're salty meaty delicious like once you start eating them, I guarantee you're going to finish the whole bag and want more because that's what happens to me every single time. And these are the bison sliders. You should definitely try these. They're brand new. They also have new Wagyu flavors, which I think you have to be a member for, but definitely join because you'll be able to taste all their new flavors first if you really like them. And they're all minimal ingredients. This is the grass-fed bison and Redmond real salt, and they're all regeneratively raised, so it's good for... I think I I'll be honest, I don't know what that means. I think it's good for the and the grass and the yeah. environment. I don't know. Yeah. But it's good. It's a good thing, not a bad thing. And you should definitely try it. You can use our coupon code with Smith for fifteen percent off your first order and the link is in the description below. We're <coughs> Sorry. We're also sponsored by SeatGeek, which is a great website to get tickets from, whether they're for concert tickets, sporting event tickets, comedian tickets, literally any type of ticket, they have it. And you will have a really great discount if you use our coupon code with Smith. You will save $20 off your first purchase, which is really great discount for tickets, in my opinion. And those are just some of the things going on. You could click the link in the description below to see what else is there. They have all the same things as all the other ticket companies, but you just get $20 off with our promo code. So why not? And follow us on social media channels if you want to. That's our handle right there. And that's it. So as I said, this is higher. Track number nine off of Music to be Murdered by Side B. Here we go. Yeah. You know, I've been around for a while now. Not sure if I have much left to prove. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I look at me now, I'm thinking, damn, how proud of me I am. What I did is nothing to sneeze at, even if your allergies are bad. I'm up in the balcony in France. I look around, I see the fans. How they surround me in the stands. Probably could drown in a sea of hands. They're hollering, Shame. Shame. Yelling it out to me, and that's what I mean when I say that one day, some way, somehow, if I get the chance to get a crowd, I flip it around and have a crowd give me the chance. I've done it all, man. But in actuality, I haven't yet. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, really? I have no idea. Oh, all I know is every time I think I hit my ceiling, I go higher than I've ever fucking been. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, baby. All right. So this is the song you were thinking of? Yes, it was. I thought so, so I do know this. Yes. It's good. I really like the chorus in this song. Yeah, so it's I, really good. I think I'm pretty sure there was a music video for this. I think um, so. I think it was a single. I think they released it. Um, you know, as a single. 
So it starts off with Eminem just briefly talking in the intro. He says, yeah, you know, I've been around for a while now. Not sure if I have much left to prove. And then he says, yeah, I do. Ha ha ha. So it again goes along with like his whole sentiment from other songs and like all of his more recent albums where he's like, I still have more to do, more to prove, to prove that I'm like the best rapper alive, basically. Yeah, exactly. Even though I've done it all, I've been at the top of the game, I still feel yeah. I have more to give. So then he starts the first verse, he comes in, he says, I look at me now, I'm thinking, damn, how proud of me I am, what I did, it's nothing to sneeze at, even if your allergies are bad. That's cool. Similar sentiment to the core, uh, the little intro we just heard, you know, he's done it all, you know, and it's nothing to sneeze at. Allergies. Yeah. So sneeze. We'll play on that bar there. Which rhyme, actually. Yeah. What? Sneeze and allergies. Oh, yeah, it does. That's interesting. I didn't yeah. even think about that. So it's more than just like <laughs> a bar, I guess, if that's what it is. Yeah. I don't know. He, then he continues, I'm up in a balcony in France. I look around. I see the fans, how they surround me in the stands, probably could drown in a sea of hands. So it's like self-explanatory, but cool how he says like drown in a sea of hands. Yeah. So like drown in like the sea, but then it's hands because all the fans exactly in the stands so yeah and all rhymes yeah <laughs> so apparently he's performing in france continues they're hollering shady yelling it out to me and that's what i mean when i say that one day some way somehow if i get a chance to get a crowd i'll flip it around and have the crowd give me the chance so i don't get that last part so it's because it's spelled weird well Huh? All right. So he's in France performing. The crowd's yelling shady, right? He says, he's yelling out to me. So this is weird. He's doing this weird thing. So he's painting this picture of him performing in France, right? So he's obviously famous at this point. But then for this line, it's like he switches back to before he was famous because he says, that's what I mean when I say one day, some way, somehow, if I get a chance to get a crowd, right? So he's bringing us back to a time when he didn't have a crowd or an audience, but anyway, the bar is I'll flip it around and have the crowd give me the chance, like C H A N C H A N T S, like chanting. Okay. Now I get it. <laughs> yeah. So he's doing a play on chants, chants, you know, homophones. Yeah. But it's confusing because, again, he started this little scheme with him performing to a sea of fans. But then for this line, he's going back to, oh, one day if I get a crowd. So it's a little confusing there that he just switched time frames on us you know so i feel like you would only <clears throat> recognize that that's confusing if you were to dissect the song otherwise i feel like you wouldn't even think about it probably maybe maybe yeah but yeah i don't i don't know maybe it's just like an art <clears throat> like art artsy thing yeah i don't know um then he continues he says uh i've done it all man but in actuality i haven't yet so he, that's the sentiment of the whole song. And then this is Sly Piper, which, again, we discussed a few videos ago. We never heard of him. He was talking in the intro of one song. Yeah. And he was on the chorus of the next. And now here he is again. So popping up all over. So, and it's really good. It's a really good chorus. Yeah, for sure. So the chorus is Sly Piper. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Really, I have no idea. All I know is every time I think I hit my ceiling, I go higher than I've ever fucking been. So that still goes along with like still having more to do. Yeah, and it's very like um motivational. You know what I mean? It's like every time I think I hit my ceiling, I go higher than ever. So he's breaking through ceilings, right? So it's actually the um the music video, I'm remembering it now. Like it's Eminem getting like interviewed on like Sports Center by and Dana White from the UFC. And this whole that whole imagery of this music video is like Eminem, he's going he's fighting himself in his like past career you know what i mean and he's like his own competition and all that so okay the song is framed and the music video is framed as like a motivational song and you hear it you know what i mean the way the the music is made and the chorus and everything it's like i'm just gonna keep pushing i'm gonna top myself over and over that makes sense yeah all right and the chorus he repeats again so let's pick it up here verse two Got no time for no haters in this bitch. 
or toleration for the shit, but like medication, my dedication in the time it takes to do this shit reminds me of how an overcrowded hospital waiting room will get. What I mean is maybe I have more patience than I'm able to admit. Yeah, but I'm still mentally stable. There's a three-legged table in this bitch. Fame was a switch, but I was grateful to trade this shit for the trailer with a hitch that it would make me a raving lunatic. But I made it through my situation. I hit pay dirt. Now I get paper like a stapler in this bitch. But just cause I made a little bit of change, don't mean I've changed a little bit. Brain full of wit, dangerous, can't extinguish this English language when it's lit. And I'm just berating you with it. It's shady till I'm 82. I spit this crazy, even Dre, he knows I'm a blow. Better get the handkerchief again. <laughs> so where am I supposed to go from here? Okay. Really, I have no idea. All I know is every time I think I hit my ceiling, I go higher than I've ever fucking been. Okay. <laughs> It's the last pause. We'll let the rest of the song play out after this. Very good. Mm. Okay. So verse two, Eminem comes in. He says, got no time for haters in this bitch or toleration for this shit, but like medication, my dedication, and the time it takes to do this shit. So, okay. I mean, this is, again, this isn't really a crazy bar that needs breaking down. You know, he's just letting us know. He's got no time for haters. He's been around this. You know, he's going to keep going. Or toleration for... So he says this shit, I'm guessing, like, haters. But when he haters. says, but, like, medication, I don't get what, how that fits in here. So the bar, I think, gets... So it continues. It says, but, like, medication, my dedication, and the time it takes me to do the shit reminds well, it's me... missing part, so yeah. like, I'm not getting where that fits in. Okay. Yeah, it's not... Because it's annoying. I usually stop for whatever the lyrics are on the screen. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have to keep flipping back and forth, but yeah. So yeah, he's he's not tolerating the shit, right? But like medication, my dedication and the time it takes to do this shit reminds me of how an overcrowded hospital hospital waiting room will get. But I mean, it's maybe no, that's that's worded terrible. It's the ear wrong. He says, "What I mean is maybe I have more patience than I'm able to admit." That makes patience like a patient in a hospital. Patience like you're you can wait for something to happen. Yeah, so that's where the medication thing comes in, right? He's yeah, like, like, hospital patients. Yes, and he's like, like medication, my dedication to the shit. And then you already pointed out uh, an overcrowded hospital, you know, can't admit patients, which you described. I've actually never been in an overcrowded mm. hospital waiting room. No, me either. No. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, for some reason, anytime I've had to go, the ER waiting room's always empty. People were worried about um, that happening in COVID in New York particularly, and it actually didn't end up happening, which is weird. Yeah, you had to go to the hospital for something unrelated to COVID during peak COVID, and no one was in the waiting room, but then they sort of turned us away. They're like, if you come in here, you will get COVID. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and you will die. Just kidding. They didn't say that part. No. <laughs> um. Okay, so yeah, maybe I have more patience than I'm able to admit, so... He can deal with this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm still mentally stable as a three-legged table in this bitch. Fame was a switch, but I was grateful to trade that shit for the trailer with the hitch. Though, thought it would make me a raving lunatic? I thought he said um, that, it, that it would make me a raving lunatic. Yeah, the words are just like slightly off in this video. It's very annoying. So... He's mentally stable as a three-legged table, so he's letting you know he's still crazy, right? Three-legged table is not stable. So it's so funny because I just imagined like sort of like a round stool type table that would be stable on three legs. Yeah. So I was like, I don't get it. But now I get it. It's like a large square or rectangular table with just three legs. Yeah. Okay. And then he says, uh, fame was a switch, but I was grateful to trade that shit for the trailer with the hitch. So he obviously came from anonymity and poverty to going to um, fame and fortune, which he's yes. happy. He's happy that he did, but it was an adjustment. And then, you know, he traded it for the trailer with the hitch. He says that it would make me a raving lunatic. So interesting. He's kind of acknowledging, you know, 
that it made him crazy. Yeah, and just put him through a <clears> lot. <throat> yeah. But I made it through my situation. I hit pay dirt. Now I get paper, like a stapler in this bitch. But just because I made it a little bit of change don't mean I've changed a little bit. What's pay dirt? So it's like an expression, like if you hit pay dirt. So like I think like when you're like digging for like um like oil or like gold or something, you know what I mean? It's an it's an expression like, oh, you you you're gonna get paid now. You know what I mean? Okay. You found you stumbled upon something you that's gold. exactly it's that's what it means. Um so yeah, he made it through. He was broke, he hit pay dirt, he found a way to make money rapping. Now he gets paper like a stapler in this bitch, so obviously mm -hmm. a little far there. And, and then, then a little bit of change mm -hmm. goes along with the money. Scheme, exactly. But then also like change, like yes. things are different. Exactly. Then he continues, brain full of wit, dangerous, can't extinguish this English language when it's lit. Now I'm just parading, you would still get shady till I'm 80. So, okay, this is all wrong. And then the Grady, it's so funny because it's Dre, he, Dre, like Dr. Dre, but they're saying Grady. <laughs> so um, the actual line is the parading, where is it? It's not even that. It's, and I'm just berating you with it. It's shady till I'm 82. I'll spit this crazy. Even Dre, he knows I'm a blow. Better get the handkerchief again. Okay. Yeah. So... There's the English lit, like English literature. Yeah. And then full of wit. I mean, you can bring that into English, I guess. You know, if you're talking about like English literature in school. Yeah, his brain smart. Yeah, all that. And yeah. Yeah, the other. So again, we're reading like the the, the wrong lyrics there. <laughs> I know. It's um, confusing. Yeah. So he's like, um, and I'm just berating you. It's shady till I'm 82. So that we get. He said, I'll spit this crazy. Even Dre, he knows I'm a blow. Better get the handkerchief again. Oh, nose, like your nose. Yes. And like, then, Dr nose. Yeah. So Dr. Dre knows that Eminem's going to blow again, right? And then, nose, blow, better get the handkerchief. Handkerchief, blow, nose. Still a nose scheme. <clears throat> yeah. And then, so it goes back to the chorus. And then there's this little bridge by Sly Piper where he says, Oh, now what am I going to do? Can't nothing hold me. I'm on the loose. Born a winner. Damn, it's so hard to lose. I can do it and do it when I'm trying to. When my rec when my records flop, they still go through the roof. So, you know. Self-explanatory, really. Kind yeah. of. And that actually. the same sentiment yeah, as and that, a song. And that is actually what happens with Eminem. You know, his it's a flop for him, but it's still better than like everybody else's. Uh, or a flop. <clears throat> To the critics, but it still does really, really well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this atmosphere is for a chosen few who was on their grind to get money moves, and you ain't gonna get that if you want it down. You got to take a hundred shots with a hundred proof. So okay, only a chosen few are here. You know, you're never gonna do what I did. You're never gonna top me. You know, um, if you want it down, you got to take shots with a hundred proof. So like taking shots, but then taking shots. Yeah. All right, and then this is where we left off. We'll finish out the song here. You gotta take shots with a hundred proof. Been in survival mode since a five year old. It was I alone since my trike was stole's viral notebook and microphone. But looking back, how bad it was then if it hadn't have been for the pad and the pin addict. Mom and dad beat dad. I wouldn't have had the savage within having to win every single battle I'm in. All I ever wanted was to be an MC. Tediously, I wrote obediently, believing in me. EPMD must have had teaching degrees, learned to defeat enemies. But the ink thinking of these rhymes would be as easy as E and graffiti would be like remedial You're reading to me. Yeah. To my last breath, please, my lungs. I'ma beat my drum for the streets. I'm from yeah. the east side slums, yeah. gotta read mine, dumb. Yeah. I'll take a folk out yeah. like feet by thumb. Yeah. You see my finger, what? you see my thumb. What? You see my fist, fuck uh, this pipe. I'm uh, here for the smoke, but it's not the weed I want. What? With this beat I brung yeah. for the beef I've come. But you better bring it if you wanna reply from. Cause for you to be lyrically inclined, it'll be a steep climb up. That'll be an uphill battle, but I'm up like your feet in a recliner. And I think I'm about to go out on a limb like a tree climber. Time to push my ceiling higher, cause where am I supposed to go from here? Okay. Really, I have no idea. All I know is every time I think I hit my ceiling, I go higher than I've ever fucking been. Okay. 
I love the way that song ends. Like, I like the, the chorus. The music, it's like very anthemic and then how it fades out. Yeah. It's sick. Okay. So third verse. I'm going to read from my phone because these lyrics on the screen keep fucking me up. All right. So been in survival mode since a five-year-old. It was I alone since my trike was stole, spiral notebook, and microphone. It's just more in the same going into his childhood and like what we know about it. If you have followed all of our reactions of his prior music or you just know his music really well. Sort of discussing his childhood. Yeah, he was on his own, and then yeah. the microphone and writing rap is saved you know, him exactly. Um, but looking back, how bad it was then. If it hadn't had, if it had it to have, hadn't <laughs> been, if it hadn't been for the pad and the pen, addict mom and deadbeat dad, I wouldn't have had the savage within, having to win every single battle I'm in. Jesus, even yeah, just so he- reciting the. <laughs> All the rhymes was fucking me up. So he's acknowledging that, like, even though his childhood was like really treacherous, he wouldn't be where he is right now without that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And he. So we've heard the sentiment in his other songs, but you know, like he thanks his dad for teaching him what not to do. But you know, it's like a common phrase: but everything you went through made you who you are. So you know, you don't regret anything. That's the yeah, sentiment. Exactly. And he, you know, he he uh, says the pan and pen rap music was his vehicle, you know, to get through it. And then, yeah, addict mom, we know deadbeat dad would have had the savage within having to win every single battle I'm in. So he felt like he had to win. You know what I mean? Yeah, like something to prove. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> then he continues. All I ever wanted was to be an MC. Tediously, I wrote obediently, believing in me. EPMD must have had teaching degrees, learned to defeat enemies with the ink, thinking of these rhymes would be as easy as E, and graffiti would be like remedial reading to me. Okay. This one's actually, this one's actually pretty good. So It's not great at the bottom. Yeah, I know. Um, it would be as easy as eating graffiti. graffiti. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> I, I think, so I think I saw that this was two years old so not long after they must have did it from right like when it their came out hearing, and like, right when it came out yeah. so there was no other lyrics around yeah so he always wanted to be uh an mc right he always wrote and he believed in himself epmd which is a rap group must have had teaching degrees right okay so he invokes the teaching degrees right so he's invoking school here right and he yeah. learned he learned from this rap group yeah learned to defeat emmys with the ink And then (laughs) I'm reading from here again. Um, Thinking of these rhymes would be as easy as E. So it's another rapper, Easy E. He's shouting out, right? So, you know, defeating them would be easy as E. It's a play on his name. And then he says, and graffiti would be like remedial reading to me. So this is interesting. I've So... EPMD must have had teaching degrees, right? So he's learning from that. Yeah. And then he says... um, and graffiti would be like remedial reading to me. So I don't know if he – so there's one of two things he's saying. He's either saying that because it's remedial reading, um, you know, it's so easy for him. So graffiti is something that he also, you know, was into when he was younger, right? Mm-hmm. Or like remedial reading is like it's bullshit. You know what I mean? So I don't know which way he's referring to the graffiti, meaning like he enjoyed it. And that's also something that got him through as well as listening to hip hop. Or is he saying it's remedial, it's bullshit, you know what I mean? I don't it's know. Nothing. I don't I don't get it. I think this is the first we ever heard him talk about graffiti like this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if you guys know, let us know what he's talking about here. Yeah, so I mean he's talking about graffiti, but when he says rem- it's like, but like remedial what about it? It's like remedial reading, yeah. Is it good or bad to him? Either way. He continues, he says, till my last breath leaves my lungs, I'm a beat my drum for the streets I'm from, the east side slums, got to remind them, um, I'll take a foe out like fee fi fum. I like that bar. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, till his last breath, so till he dies, he's going to beat his drums for the streets he's from. So, you know, repping, which he says the east side slums, Detroit, right? Got to remind them, I take a foe out like fee fi fum. I love that line. 
Like, that is a good line. You think of them as like a giant. Yeah. And then fee fi fo fum. He doesn't say the fee fi fo fum. He just says fee fi fum. Or wait, no, the giant says that. The giant says fee fi fo fum. Yeah. So he's the giant taking mm. out the like little guys. Yes. And he literally leaves it out of the fee fi fo fum. He just says fee fi fum. So he took the fo out. You know what I mean? Okay. It's a double, it's a double meaning. Yeah, it is what you said. I missed that. It's it's so simple. It's like goes right past. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like one of those like so obvious things that it's like, what? Um, you see my finger, you see my thumb, you see my fist. I was like, wait, <clears throat> what is he says, fuck a fuck a peace pipe, I'm so not bum. It says fuck a peace pipe, um peach pipe. Here, yeah, peach. <laughs> so you see, feet, uh, you see my fist. Fuck a peace pipe. Um, here for the smoke, but it's not the weed I want. With this beat I brung for the beef I've come. Okay, so like a peace pipe. I think he means like something to smoke weed with, because you know, like you're like chill when you smoke weed. Yeah. It was like smoking weed, like was like big in the seventies. So you like think like, I don't know. Yeah, so when he says, you see my finger, see my thumb, I don't know if he's talking about this. I don't know if he's talking about this. I don't know. Finger and thumb. I don't know. Let's see if there's no. an annotation. I don't think Eminem would do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Eminem is seen in the music video of the song at 441 doing the shock assigned salute, which is the pinky and thumb fees are extended and is considered to be the ultimate symbol of aloha in the local um, culture in Hawaii yeah. and is interpreted as to mean to hang loose or right on. Yes. Interesting. I didn't I had had no clue. I thought it was Surfers one of them. Do that. Yeah, that I do know. Um so yeah. So he's given the sign, right? And then he says, You see my you see my fist, fuck a peace pipe. So I'm here to fight you. I'm not here to make peace. Yeah. I want all the smoke. But it's not the weed smoke that I want. But this... It's beef smoke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Smokes beef. Exactly. I'm hungry. Then he says, um, but you better bring it if you want to reply from, because for you to be lyrically inclined, it'll be a steep climb up. That'll be an uphill battle. But I'm up like your feet in a recliner. And I think I'm about to go out on a limb like a tree climber. Time to push my ceiling higher, because... So it's like a climbing scheme, but then he talks about his feet and then climbing and then recliner. Yeah. So I don't know where I'm going. First, with that. he starts by saying, You better bring it if you want to reply from. So if you want to. Oh, limb, climb, limb and feet. It's also like a body part scheme. That was what I meant to say. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. So he starts off by saying, You better bring it if. You... So he's not going to reply to you unless you give, like, if you really come at him, right? You got to have something good in order for Eminem to acknowledge you and reply, like, your diss or something. And then, like, you were just pointing out, it says, For you to be lyrically inclined, it'll be a steep climb up. So literally, lyrically inclined means, you know, you're you good know, with lyrics, but he's invoking the incline and then steep. like a like a change, like not flat. Yes. And then yes. a steep climb up, which is the same thing. It says that'll be an uphill battle. And then but I'm kicking the feet and the recliner. So feet recline. So, yeah, all the shit you pointed out. And I think I'm about to go out on a limb like a tree climber. Which, so, yeah, so limb goes with feet, body part, but then also limb goes with tree, and tree goes with the climbing scheme, and... The tree climber going out of limb, yeah, all that. <laughs> yeah. And then time to push my ceiling higher, because... The chorus. Yes, and then it fades out. And that's it. It is. So. Okay. Higher. It's really good. I really, really love the chorus. It's a fun song. I recognized it just from the chorus, which is interesting. Like I didn't recognize the verses in the beginning, but it's really good. There's a lot of good bars and like one liners in there. Yeah. Yeah. But not too heavy. It's it's like, you know, it's one of his more like popular songs. You know what I mean? I feel like it was made to be a hit. It's very, like I said, anthemic. The beat is like that. Yeah, it's fun. Very motivational. Yeah, it's cool. I like, like this it. song. It's one of the better ones, in my opinion, off this album. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I agree. All right. So, yeah. Definitely check out Carnivore Snacks and Seat Geek. Follow us on social media channels. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon. See you. Bye. Bye.